Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Goherent, and today we're back with more Dark Matter. We're gonna be going into Scenario 3, Lost Quantum. Now, coming into Scenario 3, you can see you pick the order that you play them in. You can go to Lost Quantum, Shadow of Earth, or Strange Moons. And I played them in the order they're written. I've also played them in the order of Shadow of Earth, then Strange Moons, then Lost Quantum. And my opinion on which order is best is like, just don't play Lost Quantum last. Just don't do that. The way I'll be playing it this time is if the developers give you something in an order, even if they let me choose the order, I'm going to assume the intended order is the one they gave it to me in. So we're gonna be going straight down the list. Now, before we get into the scenario, let's go talk about our decks and a quick thing that I forgot to change last time. We both watched Air to Carcosa, but I forgot to increase Mary's pips by two. So we are at seven and nine memories now. And let's go talk about our decks. I'm pretty hyped for these. Coming over to the Sister Mary deck, you can see we have Stick to the Plan with Ever Vigilant, Emergency Cash, and Prepare for the Worst under it. We've also upgraded our backpacks. These are not powerful upgrades, they're efficient and consistent upgrades. We're at the point in Sister Mary now with Ace of Swords, Beat Cop upgraded, Runic Axis with Saga, and the Stick to the Plan set up to round us out, that we should be able to consistently do our job. I know that's not exciting. We were here 25 experience ago on Mark Harrigan, but for Sister Mary, being able to feel confident that I'm going to do my role going into a scenario is a new and unusual feeling. I'm really hoping I don't have any 45 Thompsons equipped and I'm walking around punching people with my bare hands instead because I'm afraid of running out of bullets and money again. Now, coming over to Father Mateo, it's a pretty straightforward upgrade here. We got our second Jacob Morrison. We aren't getting Charisma yet because Jacob Morrison is just so much better than all of and all of us so minor that I don't really care about Charisma as much. I've also upgraded a Rite of Seeking in both clairvoyances. You can see that all of our spells are upgraded. They all give us a positive modifier now. That's really important on a forehead mystic. You can also see I've mapped out my arcane research upgrades. My wards and one copy of Divination 4 can be bought earlier, which probably means the next scenario. But the rest of these spell upgrades are just locked in to get maximum benefits out of arcane research. And we're gonna start going for other stuff after this. Now, getting into the scenario, before we cover the rules of it, let's see what our mulligans are doing. I'm still thrilled to be in the new version of Tabletop Sim with working stat trackers better UI here. It has like mechanics where it just works with replenish now. It doesn't lag anymore. It's wonderful. Just like this opening hand is, dear God. I know I need to die eventually, but I refuse to hold it in my opening hand. And I don't really care about any of that as much as I care about the Ace of Swords. Get out of here, Christ of Faith. And deny's back. That's a big part of why you don't hold deny. It's because your hand becomes catastrophically bad with second deny. It's not great, but maybe it'll get there. Over here, we got two scrolls of secrets and a Jacob. I think that's just good enough, man. I think that's fine. Like, I obviously tell us these, but the Scrolls of Secrets will draw that will find economy eventually. Jacob is where most of my experience has gone. I'm going to keep that and send it to the wrong hand like you do. Favor of the Sun for Jacob's energy is nice. All of is obviously dead with Jacob in hand. And then getting into the scenario itself, there's no additional setup that we've done since last time, I believe. Yep, just the rules for the Quantum Round and Face Down Encounter cards. Do the setup, play the scenario, no new records. So let's get into it. Our scenario card is not that bad. X is the number of face down cards in your threat area for the skull. X is half the number of locations in play rounded down for that cultist. Minus one, reveal another token on the tablet. And if we fail, we're going to get a face down encounter card, which is a little bit spook, but not that bad. And then minus three, draw a face down card in your threat area for the squid. So like not the softest bag, but also not particularly hard either. It would three new agenda with action scan. It's basic scanning rules. I should mention, it is basic scanning rules, but it doesn't require us to get all the clues like it did in Scenario 1. We can just scan whenever we want. And then Act 1 requires six clues and nothing else, so let's get right into it. This terror will start in play. There's no reason not to play Stand Together first action. Now, I believe I have unupgraded Emergency Cash, though I do. I'm definitely going to draw one card. And I'm going to greet a second. I'm going to play Emergency Cash. I'm going to try not to play Prepare for the Worst until I've drawn deeper into my deck and I have better odds of hitting the cards I care about. Then over here in Mateo, Scroll of Secrets, Scroll of Secrets, Jacob Morrison. That wasn't a particularly complicated series of choices. We tap both Scrolls of Secrets, and we're going to get the bottom two cards from our deck. Divination, sure, Promise of Power, thanks. Very good cards. Very happy to have those in my deck. That'll be our turn. And there's no enemies yet, so upkeep phase. Clairvoyance joins the party as well. Brandon Kavug is here in case we do need to fight. One of three Doom and Evil cards. I haven't shuffled these, but the first one's random all the same. At least random as far as I'm concerned, because I don't know what the first one was. Test Fist 3, if you fail, you must either discard a non-story asset you control or choose and discard three cards from your hand. So I discard my tarot if I fail this. I'm just going to award that. I'm just going to award that. I could promise a power instead. I can't use deny on this. I can't just discard three cards and deny the existence of it because I need it for my weakness. I forgot to put in Bless Us, by the way, and we should have a third one now. 
Using this ward feels a little bit greedy, but I think I'm just doing that. I'm only up one. It's terrible. I'm just going to ward that because as a fighter, I can't do a fist test treachery. There are no face down cards here, so instead this goes in my threat area face down. And after I draw it, I'll take one horror, but not for a while. Now it's back to us. Now over here on Mary, right now I'm looking at draw, draw, and play an item or a weapon. So we draw first. We play backpack instead of using prepared to the worst. I should only be searching the top 12. Not that there's any difference on YouTube since you guys can see what I'm hitting. Runic Axe is in the hand. And we get these out of our deck as well. There's nothing else to hit, so there's no choice to be made. And now that we've done this, um, we actually don't have enough items for maximum ever vigilant value. Oh, we do. We have Brand of Guthaka. Okay. In that case, I'm going to take the ever vigilant from this and play it as my last action. We're going to play Runic Axe. Hallowed Mirror, Brand of this that's 45 Thompson, instead to me, it's just sitting here as Crypt Chill Fodder. That's 4, 6, 8, minus 3 is 5, down to 4 resources. That'll be Mary's turn, she's just ready to fight forever, it's gonna be great. Over here in Mateo, if I draw cards this turn, am I likely to overdraw? I'm not even capable of overdrawing, so we're doing it again. Our bottom two cards are Emergency Cash, Voice of Rai, it's the economy I was looking for, nice. I briefly just thought I forgot to blast token on Mary and put it back because I did not. It's just her turn ended. It's not the end of the round. I think I will favor the sun. All those cards or all those blasts out of the bag. Not be using voice of raw just yet. Favor the sun. Emergency hash divination. How many clues are on location? Just the one. As a lightning bolt, we can drop clues here, which we'll need later, but not right now. I'm definitely playing emergency cash this turn, which leaves me at seven. I wouldn't mind just playing clairvoyance divination and not doing anything else. Like, I'm not in a time crunch to get this specific clue. And I know I need at least clairvoyance relatively soon. I'm not going to worry about the possibility of drawing Ride of Seeking. I'm just going to get all my clue finding stuff out right now. And that'll be it for us. Upkeep phase. Bless at the end of the round. Beat Cop as well. Looking great for both of us, actually. We've done... Like, it's been two straight turns of setup, but we've done great. That's going to go in my threat area face down because I don't have anything yet. This will spawn at our location, which means we get to pick who it engages because it doesn't have prey, so it's going to go straight to Sister Mary. And it's got Hunter. After it attacks you, you draw a face down card from your threat area. Uh, but have you considered just being dead instead? Because we are swinging at seven with two charges of Runic Axe for two. So uh, how about no? Ancient Covenant, stop. <laughs> Don't want that. It is dead, though. Next action, Beat Cop. Pretty easy there. And then after that, I think it's finally time to scan. Normal rules are just looking for something with the same back. I'm going to have this like just a little bit down here. I think that's much closer to us. We're looking for a yellow circle. There we go. And yellow circle is the main facility at Shroud. It's currently one Shroud for clues, victory one. And as a double action, you can place a resource token on any location with no clues on it. But I don't even know if our version of the scenario does that. I'm sure this is going to involve both versions of the scenarios, but I don't remember how it works in the early version. Less frustratingly, if you come here late, you get a different version of that too, where everything starts collapsing around you and your goal is to tread water and quantum nothingness until you can flee. And it's really frustrating and like it's meant to be, but I don't want to experience that, which is why we're here early. And I don't quite recall the mechanics of the early version because I played that during Dark Matter's official release once and never again. That is the end of Sister Mary's turn. I believe you just scan it, right? You don't move to it. You put it into play. Oh, and move to it. Nice. Cool. Uh, Father Mateo, we need to catch up then. I'm going to move down. That's for sure. I'm not sure specifically what I should be doing here. I'm, I'm going in circles with Voice of Raw. There's not even that many blesses in the bag, right? There's three. Uh, what's our proportion of symbols, though? Like, it matters what symbols we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight symbols and three blesses. Eleven out of twenty-one. Voice of Raw, on average, is a little bit better than an emergency cash. I just don't know why I'm playing Voice of Raw. That's the problem. I keep doing the math and then being like, but I don't need the money for anything right now. I'm going to play Voice of Raw because if it goes off, I'd rather seal Favor of the Sun. I'd rather have Favor of the Sun in play than not. So I'm going to play Voice of Raw. I don't feel pressured for time at all right now. We're going to draw three tokens. It's emergency cash, but that's good enough. Last action, Favor of the Sun. And seal all of these blessed tokens. And that's it for us. No enemies. Upkeep phase. Backpack's not really helpful. That still blows my mind that this works now. That's incredible. Three of three doom. Agenda advances. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Only two cards in there. 
and player order we all draw one of the cards into our threat area face down so we'll be taking two of these and because there's another agenda beneath this one we're just going to keep on going if there wasn't we would shuffle them all back together and mark an impending doom but we're not there yet so we've got our threat cards for mateo and mary from the encounter phase micro meteoroid is here test three foot if you fail take two damage or discard each event in your hand promise of power <laughs> like that's where we're at promise of power mary can't do that and i can't discard my entire hand of valuable events for a team that has, you know, six copies of Water Protection, it feels like I desperately need them in a way that I really shouldn't. Like, most teams feel like they can just take these tests. Um, in the timing window before this test, I'm going to activate both scrolls of secrets that don't specify during your turn, right? Yeah. Uh, so, I just don't care about this effect because I'm going to just use my cards now. Sadly, I've missed all of my weaknesses. But now when I fail this 3 fist test, I'm going to, um, you know, discard an empty scroll of secret. Sure, I'll do it later, I guess. Didn't need to. I feel like if I ever make a plan where I'm like, check this out, I'm immune to crypt shield, I always pass it. I know it's just cognitive bias. I know it's not true. But God, does it feel that way. Oh, and this time I actually did forget to add the Bless for Mary, so let's add that back in. So we're down to a 17-card deck. We have four clue-finding assets in there. So it's almost impossible to imagine that we end up in a situation where we can't get it. We definitely clairvoyance this once at this point. We've been screwing around for a while. We're up five. There's nothing to think about. Come on, Promise Power. Why are you like this? It's minus four. We actually pass. Just barely. Now, I could play for like literally no tempo and investigate straight at up two. Because I do have three book. And I know that seems very, very silly and pointless. But I'm going to do that. I'm just not really. No, because I need to move with Sister Mary after the explore, don't I? Oh, wait a second. I was up five. This is better than I was thinking. I was thinking of Divination's modifier. Anyway, I'm using Clairvoyance again. That's fine. We're going to take both of these or the whole location like you do. And last action, we're scanning for Red Square. Wouldn't you know it? It's right on the top. we got the Scrawd Generators. Two Shroud, no clues. You cannot cancel or ignore effects of game cards. See, I'm really concerned about those exact words right now. My team sort of specializes in that. Anyways, you can draw your threat area cards from here if you have enough of them, in which case you'll get two clues from the bank limit once per round, which is neat. I'm not even sure I want Sister Mary to go there. Also, are these locations going to be connected? However, it's not connected to the main hub, so we're not going to put it there. That would just be inaccurate. That was the last action on Mateo. There are no clues here, but I'm still going to walk down with Mary to do my bodyguard job. I'm going to scan this location. This one is connected to the hub, and it's connected to us, but it's not connected to the mining facility. So it's going to be like this, and Mary pops over here. I'm going to try to scan again in the hopes that I'll move back to another adjacent location, but I might end up moving further away. If I do, you can always favor the sound of Vade. Mateo is just very, very safe to be on his own for a Gloober, which is a neat part of him that I never really understood before I played him. So yeah, scan for Hourglass. With the Hourglass, we get the Crystal Peaks, which do not attach to anything that I've seen so far. And the Crystal Peaks are a victory to location. At the end of the round, if this location is empty and does not have a resource token on it, shuffle it back into the scanning deck. If there are no clues on this location, record in your campaign that you've witnessed the primordial chaos. Max once per game, victory two. All right, that was a weird set of turns, but we're done. Upkeep phase, promise of power is great. Right of Seekings, not immediately relevant, but will be shortly. Same agenda as the previous one. Amigo Stabilizer's back. Uh, does spawn with Sister Mary again, and it's not attacked me, so no additional effects. Test three head, only up one. Don't have a guts. You must commit all eligible skill cards in your hand to skill test performed at your location. Okay, well, it's in your threat area, not when you're taking the initial test. Okay, uh, I love this card. This is so well designed. Initially, I was terrified, and now it's just perfectly A-OK. -okay. I'm going to take this at plus one. If it fails, I'll just use uh, Jacob. Okay, if it fails that badly, it's in my threat area. <laughs> uh, jokes on it, though. I have no skills in my hands. On Mateo, I think I just move twice, investigate with clairvoyance. It seems like the sensible thing to do. I could scan, but that could push me further from Mary. I want to get here, progress the act, and stabilize it. But I don't know if I can do it quickly. I'm going to do my best to try. I'm going to go there. I'm going to, um, I was going to say scan, but clue fine with clairvoyance. We're only up four, six to three initially. This is failable, but we have Jacob for that. 
That is unfortunately a good token. I will take a horror about it. Sorry about that, Jacob, but there is a second U in my hands. Now, over here on Mirity, we're swinging at three, four, five, six, six to three. I see no reason not to beat the minus four. So, just like don't auto fail. Yeah, he's dead again. Oh, we can advance the act. Uh, we have the six clues. We have the six clues. We advance this act. And then, since there are not three or more tally marks under impending doom, we're going to go to the bottom one. We're going to get the quantum physicist, not the fading away. He goes into any investigator's control. He doesn't take up slots for this scenario. And we proceed to act to quantum xeno and not destabilization. So this other one can go away. Anyway, reaction, when your turn begins with the top card in the encounter deck face down your threat area, fight, evade, or investigate. If you fail, deal one damage or instance. Okay, so as a cost to getting a free action, you're doing this. And we don't want him to leave play ever, ideally, because <laughs> this guy's just alive. He's not the other version. I will give him to Mateo because he doesn't really do anything for either of them. So I'd rather him be on the one that investigates and then always gets value. I'm going to put him right here next to the assets that investigate so I don't forget quite as much as I otherwise might. I think the thing to do on Sister Mary is to discard this backpack and play another one to thin out my deck even more. So I'm more likely to hit the cards I do care about. Runic Axe. 45 Thompson, no additional hits. But now we have more chances of drawing Deny or Promise of Power or just generally things that aren't these useless weapons. I do have a enemy weakness in my deck and I don't really want to get hit by him. I think he only hits for one though. I'm at full health. I'll take the risk. I'll draw a card. Guardian Angel's kind of the complete opposite, to be honest. Upkeep phase. We finally get our Rosary on Mateo. Guts on Mary. Two of X Doom. I really should have read the act, but we'll get to that in a second. Test two book, but I don't read books. Oh, that's good, because you're not supposed to succeed. Uh, I'll just take the test straight two to two. One to two. All right, I failed by a lot. So even though the test did nothing, I do get a face down encounter card from the tablet. Is that correct? Yep. <laughs> Over here. Once again, I just don't care about this at all. I'm proof to this. Uh, that is a negative number. I lose an empty scroll of secrets. I've never seen a character that cared so little about Crypt Shield as this one. It's very funny. Now, coming over to the Act, we're at Act 2. We spend player clues as a group to place a resource token on your location in the token pool, and we need to stabilize eight Elbrus locations in play. If each location has a resource token on it, you may advance. Because we got here early enough that we can stop everything from collapsing instead of trying to escape it as it collapses, things are a lot nicer. There are enough clues here left that we can just do this immediately. I wish I had a little bit more economy. I wish I had one more resource. I'm going to play Ride of Seeking. That's definitely happening this turn because I'll need it later. And then I'm going to investigate with Divination. That just seems completely reasonable. We're investigating at four. Then I'm going to gain a resource and I'm going to investigate with Ride of Seeking because the number is a little bit higher than Divination would be. We're looking at four, six to three base with Lucky on Jacob. Not that we're going to fail. Probably should actually spend the charge for that though. And we'll spend these immediately to tag this place. And now I'm going to go record that I have witnessed the primordial chaos. Looks like Sister Mary still has her whole turn available, so I think it's time for her to start scanning. We're looking for moons. We're looking for triangle, green diamond, and moon. Moon is this. The other ones we haven't seen yet, so I'm just going to put it up here, assuming that's the case. Mary will be here now, and she's just going to scan again. So I can just not scan here instead. I'm just going to walk back down and scan at Crystal Peak again as my last action. The top card is currently something that it connects to. It's Green Diamond. It's the one we've been looking for. does not connect to Middle. It does connect to Red Square, which throws my map into shambles. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. I have a screenshot in Discord of it from ages ago. Coming over to the FAQ. Is there a map for the locations? It's not possible to place the locations on a flat plane without intersecting locations. You'll just have to try not to get lost. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's no way to rearrange this to be correct. I don't need to waste time in trying. Um, also, as you'll see, it's not quite as much of a spoke as you might expect it to be. I'm just not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna do the thing we always do. The map's like this now and it won't be confusing at all. Anyway, Sister Mary's down here. Our new location is a four shroud, four clue, victory one. After you enter here, you get a face down card. If I recall correctly, the face down cards aren't really a mechanic for us. We're just trying to finish the scenario and get out of here, which means this is scary, but not doing a whole lot. Beat cops again. Oh, I have charisma. I can actually play them. That's sick. 
Temptmate's not the biggest deal, but I'm glad to see it. Three Doom agenda advances. The scanning deck is not empty. Oh, uh, we're all ripped to the last location in the scanning deck then. Which is going to be here, wherever it is. It connects to the middle. It connects to this place at the bottom. And it also connects to sticks. Behold, a perfectly sensible and accurate map of Quantum. <laughs> anyway, everyone's ripped over here. Which is fine, we weren't doing anything where we were anyway. Oh, that part's no fun though. Um, all the locations without resource tokens do go away right now. That's fine though, that's not the biggest deal. You're expecting to get one impending doom, and I just didn't have time to backtrack and get anything done. Because it's like one kluver, not a particularly insane kluver. I didn't think we could do it, but the map's a lot weirder than it was a second ago. This is peak Arkham right here. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to continue on. I don't think we're going to be eating that impending doom, though. Evil cards. Oh, do we not get um face downs for this one? No, we only get face downs for the other one. I don't recall what the last one is. Uh, this is going to go my threader get face down in a hot second. We're sort of running out of space there, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't like radioactive decay, and I know exactly what I'm going to do about it. Also, this place needs clues. So this is two shroud, two clues, add a dune to the current agenda in test book two. If you succeed, we get memories. Gonna be honest, don't care at all about that. We have plenty of memories. Okay, Sister Mary goes first. She's swinging at a million against this guy. I don't even need to do anything. He's dead, but that's not where he goes. I'm gonna be honest, the stacks are too big and I don't care anymore. I'm grouping them up. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's just too many cards. Uh, second action, I kill that thing that I just drew on Mateo. Because he's just essentially getting Surge every round if Mary doesn't fix it. Coming over to Mateo, we've got two Shroud, two Clues. I'm going to Divination, Explore, Right of Seeking. That just seems really solid. We're up a million, basically. I've definitely been forgetting to add Blesses. You can see all the times the Doom has changed without adding a Bless. The last time we added a Bless was here, so we've missed one Bless here, a second Bless, and a third Bless. We've missed three Blesses total. That's really nice. I can actually just like look back and see how many Sister Marys I missed. <laughs> I thought it was like one or two. It's been going on way longer than I thought. Anyway, Ancient Covenant stopped that. It's a Lightning Bolt, isn't it? Or is it an action? It's a Lightning Bolt. Good. So we spend two of these clues. I drop a resource here. And then I'm looking for the blue triangle, which is this. Uh, I want to say this is like way over here before in some wacky location. And honestly, it doesn't even matter where I put them because it's all nonsense. Check the locations. <laughs> and then I'm going to investigate right of seeking. I beat the bag. I will take two clues and I will just burn them immediately. And throw down a resource. That's it for us. Upkeep. I didn't have any skills I was forced to commit, did I? No, of course not. Anyways, over here. It's weird to be in a situation on Mateo where I'm like, I don't need this rosary. Because I just don't. I'm crushing the shroud value so badly with Jacob in play. Anyway, one of three Doom, evil cards. He's back. You must either place the top three cards in your thread area face down. Uh, yeah, sure. One, two, three. Sounds like that did nothing to me. I don't see how this could ever end badly. Anyway, over here. This guy needs to die. Ain't got time to kill. Get in the discard pile. Thanks, Beat Comp. I'm going to explore from here immediately as Marion. We're looking for triangle. There's a triangle. I'm not even going to really pay attention to where they were. If I remember where they were, I'm fine with doing it. You do need clues to go into this one. Oh, no, but uh, you can just draw your encounter card to do it, so it's fine. Anyway, we're over here now. We're going to scan again with scraw generators. We're good on Doom counting case. It repeats itself. We're looking for this one. I think main facility is the one we started at, so we're popping over here. I don't care if they're in the right place because the map doesn't matter. It's all a gibberish anyway. <laughs> Just check your connecting icons when you want to do something. We're going to scan for red square. I think this is the first one we had down here. And now we're down here. Thanks, Beat Cop, for saving me actions. This one didn't spawn with clues, despite the fact that it should have. Now, on Mateo from Double Sticks, I can reach the one on the bottom, so I'm going to move down there. That's perfect. I'm going to investigate. Yeah, it's just fine to use favor this on here, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to right of seeking, right of seeking here. And on the first one, I use favor this on, release the blessed token, remove the blessed token, tap the ancient covenant to guarantee I pass. On the second one, that's a pass. I take all four clues. Two of them will get spent immediately, however, to drop a resource here. Are we going to beat the doom clock? There's, we just don't have the time. There's no way in hell. 
We're surprisingly close, though. Can Sister Mary... Oh, no. Sister Mary can do this place on her own. If we get good draws, we might actually beat the impending... Oh, that's not a good draw. Uh, actually, this does nothing. I've taken so little damage that I can completely ignore him this turn if I'm trying to finish the scenario right now. Sure, I'll take three more. One, two, three. I don't care how big these stacks are. I'm not playing the version of the scenario where I have to care. I remember that part at least. Attach Entangled to an Investigator without a copy of Entangled. So presently Entangled does nothing because there's not a second Entangled. I just give it to Mateo. There's literally no decision here on a two-player scenario. All right, so Mary can go here. Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt to do that one. It's limit once per round. If she could get multiple clues, it would be different. But as it stands, I believe I'm a move action short. Oh, there's an unrevealed location too. I could almost get all three of these, but there's no way for me to do more than that. That's fine. Um, in that case, Beat Cop goes off again. I swing over with the Runic Axe at a million. Stop, don't hit him. Release that token, kill him. Murray's going to walk over here now. Uh, I shouldn't know which face down card I'm getting, so I'm going to shuffle it. Is it the top three or draw three? The top three cards, the encounter deck, so I just get these two because there's nothing left. And having done that, I get two clues, which I immediately spend to put a resource here. I attacked. I moved. The last thing is explorable from several locations, and one of them is mine, so I will flip this, which presumably must have been up here. Cold Waste, we're looking for connection to Green Diamond. Doesn't have it. Over here on Mateo, I move up. I'm looking a little bit out of clue finding cards. I just haven't drawn any of this. I was like, there's four out of 17, and I'll find one by the time I need them, and then never did. I guess I must have found the one of Right of Seeking after that point, huh? All right, we're fine. We're not that unlucky. Oh, I've just been forgetting to use Kate the whole time. Man, if I had remembered this existed, we might have beat the clock. Oh, well. Um, all locations are in place, so the Shroud should be three now. Which is what my map is telling me if the map is accurate. I play Tempt Fate. Add three of each. And draw a card, looking for... Hey, there we go. Now, unfortunately, I can't play it this turn no matter what. So I use Divination instead. Can't stop it. That's completely fine. And we're going to use both of the clues we just got. Oh, I had two clues already. Well, it's all the same in the end. To stabilize this place. I need this anyway for victory. Anyway, that's it for us. We're done. Upkeep phase. Codex of Ages. Just drawing all the signature cards back to back. Uh, you can see I've sort of checked out. I think we're two over hand size on both characters. No, we were good on Mateo, but we are not good over here. Um, I definitely don't need the second guard dog. <laughs> Don't see myself needing these Spectral Razors either. Three Doom, Agenda Advances, which is this one? Everyone in a location with a resource token gets a face down card. Uh, there is no encounter deck, no we don't. Shuffle all empty locations with a resource token, or without a resource token on it, into the scanning deck. Uh, that means the scanning deck is just the landing craft. <laughs> just gonna leave it there. Also, very technically, there is no scanning deck, so no longer does it shuffle in, but I'm not going to be enforcing that on the scenario itself, because that could easily break things if it was not built around. Anyway, we get an impending doom, and then we make a new set of agendas. We were so close to making pace, and if we had remembered Kate existed, we probably would have. We have one impending doom, which is the number you're expected to get in the scenario, I feel like. And evil cards, let's wrap this up. Uh, yeah, give me more. I'll take all of them. What are you going to do about it? Make me draw them? It doesn't seem like it. Then over here, cold vacuum. Yeah, sure. Oh no, I failed. Now I've lost my other scroll of secrets. I believe I used these last two charges of donation last turn. I am going to play Rite of Seeking. I'm going to use Rite of Seeking. I'm going to release this blessed token on the test and get rid of it and stop with Ancient Covenant to pass without risk of failure. I'm going to use Kate to investigate, which is connected correctly, so we go here. And then I'm going to um, just spend the clues. I don't need to do anything. I need to get over here, apparently. <laughs> These are actually connected. Oh no, my map was a lie. It was never correct at all. Who could have foreseen this? Wait, if these are connected, the scenario's over, right? There's no victory I've missed. I could sandbag for a second and go get some memories. Uh, those locations are connected anyway, I may as well. You may advance? Yeah, sure. I walk over last action. I moved... Right of Seeking. Did I play the Right of Seeking this turn? I did. 
No, the move was a cape move. It was free. That's why icons are wrong. So we just get there and we spend two clues, but we are going to choose not to advance. Over here, we're playing another beat comp. And I don't care. I draw two cards. Upkeep. Add the blesses I've been forgetting. Hey, Lurker in the dark. Upkeep. I guess I have to discard cards. Not over there because I drew a weakness by emergency cash. One of three doom. Let's just go get these memories real quick since we have the chance. Discard each event in your hand. The scenario is over. Yeah, I fail. Rip all of these cards. Wait, promise of power is not an event. It feels like one. Then over here we have... There is no end of my turn. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Sister Mary is going to go first. She's going to swing at this guy twice at millions. I'm using all four charges. Cool, he's dead. Last action, I walk here. Next, I walk here on Mateo. I commit Promise of Power. I don't even have a choice, actually. I've, oh, I should have commit Promise of Power previously because of Colors of Space, then. I'll commit this Promise of Power, then. <laughs> and that'll be two curses because it's two Promise of Powers, and we roll our book test. We didn't even need to. We have favor this on. We pass. We both get a memory. Cool. And as all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was just here. I forgot to spend my clues. Did I spend my clues and not drop them? Is that what happened? I'm going to go quickly double check the footage. I'm 100% sure that's what I did. One second. I also had a fast action investigate that I haven't been using. We easily beat this Doom Clock. Uh, maybe not easily. It's pretty close. But I think we would have beat the Doom Clock if I just remembered these existed earlier. Anyway, yes, I did have two clues. I did deduct them. I just didn't put the resource down. That's all eight locations stabilized. We may advance and we do so. R2. That was a fast one. We went through that really quick. The Elbert Station has been fully stabilized. Victory X, Squid Token, one impending doom. There's the squid. What else? We turn to search for fragments, so we're done until next scenario. What is Victory X? It feels pretty solid. There's one. Oh no, we missed a lot of victory. Unfortunate. I know what victory we missed. We missed the coolest cards in this entire campaign. What a travesty. Um, <laughs> so normally when you play this scenario, uh, we've seen every card that's not in our decks, but there are two elite enemies that we just never encountered because we have like 25 cards face down between us. The Hounds of Tendalus. There's another one in here somewhere. I know it's a two of. Yeah, here's the second one. Myriad both. So unfortunately, we're missing out on two victory and also just like this amazing card art. The mechanics of Hound of Tendalus are so good. They so well encapsulate what it's doing. The fact that it's just like breaking out of the card art itself and it just like shoved off into the corner like there's just not room for it it's just pushed it over here for health and sanity it's so well designed i love this creature this is one of my favorite bits of design in any arkham horror not like custom campaigns just all of arkham horror this is one of my favorite cards this is so good kind of sad we uh just put them face down and ignored them but hey it happens <laughs> Anyway, the scenario might have been a little longer if we had to kill these guys, but it's not like Mary had any shortage of time. She was on explore duty very thoroughly. Ah, <sighs> rip to victory. So we get victory one, two, three, four, five. And that'll be it for now. That's been Lost Quantum. We blitzed through that one. I'll see you next time in the Shadow of Earth, which was one of my favorite encounters in the set, if I'm remembering correctly. I've been rather incoherent. Hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any weird audio stuff like that, it's because I've just changed the position of my mic. It should sound much better like this but I might need to change my filters and stuff like that. It might be a little bit too loud as it's much closer to me now. Anyways, if you like the video, then like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really does help the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one.